people count on us. I can't tell you how important it is for you to give life to somebody else in this process of becoming a mature Christian. It's easy to sit around and feed yourself. We need to turn now and feed some other people. That's the plan. I will tell you that um, our offerings the last few weeks have been less than in the past. You can look on your sheet and we'll give you the numbers. Um, and I'm just asking you to remember the promises that we made to God back in January and February when we made our pledges. Those of you that are new with us, we're not real big on preaching about money around here. That's not why we're here. Um, very transparent about our finances, and you can read for yourself where we're at. Um, we're running right about 60%, which is better than most churches. However, let me ask you this. What if your household ran on 60%? What would you be cutting out? So you might want to think that through. Um, the reality is, is that it's not about us. It's about these people down here that we need to reach. And so that's the mission. Just ask you to be faithful to the, the pledges that you made. Uh, it's a new God, so uh, you can take it up with him. <laughs> but uh, I'm asking our ushers if they would come forward. And uh, we'll, well, these guys will wait on us. But uh, let's stand together and we'll pray. And then our kids are going to lead us in song. God, we ask today that you would take the finances that you've provided, that we give back to you, all that which is rightfully yours, and that you would bless it, that lives would be changed uh, because of our faithfulness and trust in you. God, thank you for our jobs. Thank you for our health. Thank you for our houses and our food. May we find ways today to minister to each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Good to have you here. Good to be a friend. Love you guys. Have a great day.